Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. It is Minecraft 11740, part three. Uh, we have been busy. Look at this beautiful sunset out here. Gorgeous. In fact, we missed the best part of it. Let's take a... Oh, there's monsters nearby, huh? Uh, oh, probably just this guy. Uh, funny thing, funny story about a drowned. I saw one down here holding an egg the other day, and it made me laugh. <laughs> he was just holding an egg and looking at the chickens. Contemplating life, probably. Welcome back! Um, we have been busy, as I said, since the end of the last episode, and, uh, one thing we need to do is we need to gather some obsidian so that we can start the enchantment process. Um, we gotta build a table. So, uh, we don't have a diamond pickaxe yet either, so... There's actually a few things to do. Okay, so there's some lava down here, and I have some dirt. We only need four. For my purposes. So I'm going to stick them, I guess I could use a shovel, here. And then we'll dump that water on top. And then, uh, then we'll have what we need. Okay, so... I've been trying very carefully not to use this lava up uh, in a foolish manner. So every time I take one, I take it carefully and I replace it with dirt so I know exactly where lava is and where lava isn't. Like so. And I've been using the lava as fuel to bake potatoes because we needed to bake very many potatoes in order to get uh, the experience machine up and running, which it is, although I haven't tested it yet. So we'll see if 11740 breaks it or not. I kind of doubt it. Uh, in fact, I highly doubt it. Okay, so we need four obsidian. And uh, we're going to get it. Like this. Okay, there we go. Now, um, let's make a diamond pickaxe so that we can mine that up and... Uh, we have five diamonds, so we'll use three on the pick, and uh, one, two, three. And then we'll use the other two on the um, obsidian table. We're going to need a book as well, but we have, we're all set. We've got, <clears throat> we got the diamonds, and we're going to have the obsidian, and then we're going to, we have the uh, books, I think, that we need as well. Uh, all the bookshelves are already up, so we should be in good shape. However, this does take a while, so why don't you let me uh, get this done, and I will be back with you guys shortly. All right, we gathered up that obsidian, and now with a book and diamonds, we can make an enchantment table, like so. And we will put that in the middle of our books. Voila! And with all those bookcases, we should have uh, access to level 30 in chance. Silk Touch. Uh, we could try Silk Touch. Silk Touch is a good first, although we want, um, we're going to want fortune fairly early on. Let's um, grab some of this so we can do enchant, and we'll see what, what's going on with this fortune one. We may try... Actually, let's just see what iron would give us first. Silk touch also. So we'll start with the diamond. Because I think a diamond silk touch would be useful. We're going to want one eventually anyway. And that's all it is, silk touch. Okay, now let's try the iron one. Efficiency 4? And that's all that is. Okay, let's try this one. Efficiency 4 again. I guess we could have an efficiency 5 iron pick then. But we're running low on experience. So let me show you how this works. We're going to stick a couple sticks in here. And then when the potato shows up here, we're going to take it. And it will give us tons of experience. All the experience that um, 32 stacks of baked potatoes would give us. Still works. Okay, so we're up to 33 again from 27. So that's pretty good. Let's put this in there and see what we get. Okay, so now we could combine those to get efficiency 5. But I think what I would rather do is take the enchantments off of these things and uh, try again. So we need 
um, to cook up some smooth stone. Because I think that's what it takes to make one of those um, grind deals. What do those take? Where is it? I probably need to have an ingredient in my inventory. I don't remember how to make them. Um, what's it called? Is it called grind something? Let's take a quick look. Yes, grindstone. Okay, we need a smooth stone slab, two planks, and two sticks. So planks should be easy enough, as long as I can find the right chest. There they are right there, and we already have sticks. So we just need... Uh, I did not put that in there, did I? We just need that. Okay, so let's talk about what else we've done. We put these doors in and these wooden deals. Also, I just slapped on a slab roof real quick. The rest of the house was built. Although, uh, the glass in the windows, I believe, is new since last episode, too. Um, we planted a bunch of potatoes and harvested them, and then we, we made this area wheat again. And up here, by the lava, you may have noticed uh, a few potato farms here. So these are all 9 by 9s with a water and a fence post in the middle for light. And I hide here. I dig down a couple and I put dirt on my head and I AFK in order to get all the potatoes to grow. And that's how we got so many potatoes into the experience machine. Um, once we use the grindstone to take stuff off of our pickaxe, then we should be... What's it take, three of these or six of these? I think it just takes three, yeah, to make six of those. So now we can make a grindstone, which we will put, um, I think the most sensible location is probably here. Okay, so we can take Silk Touch off of this and see if we get something better. Also take Efficiency 4 off of this. Is this not worth it? And then we will cook some more. Um, potatoes. Okay, what can we get on the diamond? Silk touch again. That's worth a try. Or silk touch on the iron, although we wanted fortune. So let's try silk touch on the... Well, let's see what we get here. Actually, on the sword. Sharpness 3. That is tempting. Yeah, because we don't want Silk Touch there, so let's do that. Sharpness 3. Okay, it's all we got, but that's okay. Let's take these potatoes. Oops. I didn't... If you take them one at a time, you do better. So the way this works is every single potato that you cook and send into here stores the experience in the furnace. And then when you finally take something out of the furnace, you get all of that experience. And then what it's supposed to do is get rid of that experience so you don't get it again the next time. Unbreaking. Okay, we have Unbreaking, but we don't have Fortune or Silk Touch. It's a little bit disappointing. There's Efficiency 4 again. I have made this difficult on myself by putting this enchantment table here. And I can't access it when I'm crouching. We'll have to do something better here. Maybe that. Okay, now we're swimming in experience, though, so we ought to be able to keep trying this until we can make something happen. So let me keep uh, enchanting, and then I'll let you know when I get something I'm happy with. All right, bye. All right, everybody, I am back, and I'm happy with what I was able to get. Uh, there's sharpness 3 on an iron sword now. We've got unbreaking 3, efficiency 4, plus efficiency 4, which will combine to make efficiency 5, plus silk touch. So we'll have a good silk touch iron pick. And then we have an efficiency 4 that I'm going to add to fortune 3 and unbreaking 3 for the diamond pick. And uh, we ended up with some good enchanted books as well that we can add to stuff later. Uh, things like sharpness 4 and to add to us diamond sword and looting 3. Um, feather falling to put on diamond boots someday. 
and respiration to put on a helmet, depth strider on boots, a sharpness three and a lure two. So some some of them not as good as others. Um, <clears throat> in order to be able to combine things though, we need to make an anvil and that takes uh, 27 to make three blocks and four uh, ingots. So let's make our blocks, one, two, three. And then with the three and the four, we don't need these 18. Uh, let's make ourselves an anvil. Where's that? Where's the anvil? Oh, we only made one block. That's why we had 18 left over. Got it. Okay, two more blocks. One, two. There we go. Now there's our anvil. Uh, I think the anvil makes sense to put near... Um, near that. Let's put it up there. Uh, okay, so... I guess we combine these two. That's a seven, and that's a three. But we get efficiency five, and then when we add that, it's nine. What if we do it in the other way? That's twelve. So let's do it that way, so it's nine. All right, that is our best iron pick that we can hope for. Fortune three, unbreaking three. I guess we'll start with fortune three. And add unbreaking three. And that is almost efficiency five, but it's efficiency four. Uh, and of course there's no mending on it. Other than that though, that is an excellent, excellent pick. It could only be netherite to be better. So uh, I suppose a thing that we could do is take these down into the mines and see what we can find. Do we want to be using enchanted picks all the time? Or do we want, if we have to dig, to have just a regular old silly little workhorse pick? I'm not sure why I'm putting those exactly where I am, but we could make a pick. And just for fun, we could see if it would be on breaking three or not. And it is. So I think we go ahead and bite the bullet and uh, throw three lapis at it. Uh, oh, we are nearly out of experience, though. So why don't you let me cook up eight potatoes real quick and... Uh, I'll meet you guys when I'm done. Man, I love this thing. All right, we got all the experience we want. Oh, but it's nighttime. Let's sleep, and then we'll uh, throw that e unbreaking three onto this uh, plain old brand new iron pickaxe. We'll see if we happen to get anything else with it. Oh, efficiency four. Fantastic. It's kind of exactly what I might have hoped for. Uh-oh. Better let him in. Oh, we broke our door. Now we don't have a door. That guy is such a dork. Uh, or maybe I am from telling that joke. Let's get some of this. I'll make a new door. Oh, we gotta start with that. And then we can do this. And then we'll have two spare doors. Okay, good as new. Uh, put our doors away, and then down into the mines. Uh, we gotta get rid of some gobbledygook here, too. We got some useless stuff going on. We are a little more organized, which is nice. Let's see, we got food, torches, wood. Yeah, I think we're all set. Um, up here is animal drops. Up here is used armor. Oh, speaking of used armor, I'm glad I popped into this. Actually, I wanted to combine these things because our armor is running low, and I wanted to wait until I fortuned some stuff uh, before I made more and enchanted it. Where are my pants? That's not a question one hopes to ask this, this far into life, but that is the situation where I find myself. Uh, okay, so we'll put this stuff on. Recognize our helmet is woefully low. 
Try and protect ourselves down in the mines. Where are the mines? Over here. Uh, close that door, please. Thank you. And, uh, we'll see if we can make some good stuff happen. Um, we'll go down to our... Uh, actually, you know what we'll do is we'll go all the way down, because I've been digging around a bit at y equals negative 50 whatever. And, uh, I believe I've found some good diamond, uh, veins. And, uh, we'll go ahead and fortune those, and then bring them straight back up to the base so that we do not tempt the fates. No reason to silk touch them, uh, since this is a short mining trip. Um, but when we go spelunking, we'll be silk touching the iron and the coal, and then bringing that up to the base to fortune. And we'll leave the fortune pick behind when we do that, because spelunking is dangerous. Okay, here are our diamonds. Uh, so we want the fortune. Okay, now I'm hoping for... What do we got here? Four? So I'm hoping for nine diamonds. This is fortune three, right? Okay, seven. That was not amazing luck. And I feel like I hear a slime. I believe there's nothing else if we keep going this way, but I will double check. They, I dug out to, I don't know, 150, 250, something like that on each of these. Uh, just to see if I could find a couple diamond ores to get going. And uh, I did. I found a little. So seven diamonds. What will that get us? It'll get us leggings. We could get a spare pickaxe. Um, we could make a sword. See, a pickaxe is worth, it takes three diamonds. A sword takes two. I wonder if we want um, a chest plate, like an unbreaking chest plate. I just don't know, though. I think we'll probably enchant iron with unbreaking and see how far it gets us. Um, we'll wait to do diamonds until maybe armor until we have uh, ancient debris from the nether which is also a thing we could attempt this episode um, since we do have a diamond pick now and we also have access to lava and we have a water bucket uh, so we can make obsidian and then um, that should be all we need other than a flint and steel which I believe we have both ingredients in the base so we could be going to the nether today too I just don't know okay how many do we have here we have six which means I would hope for mm, 13 or 14. So plus the 7 we already have, uh, 20 or 21. Let's see if we have better luck uh, with this batch than we did with the last batch. It appears as though we won't. 14! With Fortune 3, I mined 10? Diamond ore, and I only got 14 diamonds. That feels pretty poor. I didn't drop any in the hole and leave them behind, did I? Yeah, we stop here because that's lava. You can see it dripping from the ceiling. Let's check down in this hole because I would hate to leave behind earned diamonds due to silliness. Yeah, nothing down here. All right, I'm going to go check the first diamond hole again and run these up to the base and then drop off the diamond pick and come back down for some spelunking, and uh, I'll meet you guys in the caves. Alrighty, we're here at cave number one. It looks like we've explored that way about as far as we can. I'm unsure about these directions. Is that a skeleton? thought I saw one over there. Maybe he got shy. But I do want to silk touch up any coal or iron we can find. And it is loaded in pretty dark over here, so I'm thinking this is unexplored territory. And look, there's some iron already. That is great news. Oh, it's Waterfall USA. Can we go up here? Is this all water up here? Can I take one of these back? Appears as though it is. Um, how about over here? No, we got more over here. Okay, let's grab this iron. Um, 
Suppose we ought to have Silk Touch out. Oh, and I see some more over there. Ooh, it's nice to mine things quickly. All right, let's grab this one as well. And it uh, should be a fun time doing a little bit of caving here. I think mining in Minecraft is quite zen. To use a word a commenter used not too long ago to describe my Minecraft content. And I like that word, and I agree with it <clears throat> um, being a good descriptor of what's going on here. Uh, I do see some coal coming up, which is great news. I also see some zombie eyes. But, I have my sharpness three sword out. Whoa! See, that was a creeper. Didn't hear him until it was too late. Ooh, look at this. Now, where'd that creeper come from? Ah! We have all sorts of treachery over here. The way this generation works, it's quite... Ah! Adventurous. We're also going to be fortuning these later because... Lapis is going to be what we're short on most often when it comes to enchanting. Now, see, spiders can spawn in these one tall areas. So you can't just, like, assume you're safe because creepers can't spawn there and etc. Oh man, we're gonna get so much coal and so much iron. We can make new iron armor and we can enchant it. That's gonna be really good for us. And plus it's always fun to silk touch up a bunch of ores and then take them, take them back to the base and use the fortune pick on them and see what you, see what your haul is. Uh, I see iron. We do not want to miss. Is that all of it? Nope, there's one right here. Is water going to fall down? What is that? Just stone. Okay, so here's where the creeper came from. Somehow. Creepers, man. They're dangerous again. Minecraft is scary again. It's difficult again. And it's not even just a first night. Oh man, this this level of difficulty with caving, um, and not only like mob wise, but also just scarcity of ore wise, paired with no beds, would make this difficult. Again, Minecraft. I remember the early Minecraft videos I used to watch were all about like how to survive your first night. And now it's like, <laughs> survive your first night, who cares? Which is a shame, because that was one of the more exciting parts of the game in the beginning for me. In my beginning. Um, and maybe you could have beds, but beds have to be placed in a house. And you make so or, or some sort of shelter, and you make rules about what that is. It's got to have at least one torch. It's got to be at least a certain size. Like, I don't know, three by three. Um, it's got to have a... Maybe it's got to have a crafting table and a furnace. And a roof. Um, and then, obviously, a bed. Okay, we are... I am encouraged, though, about coal and ore right now. Especially... Is water going to come down here? Yes, it is. Let's see if we could just stop that up. That will do. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, man, over a stack and a half of coal and 14 iron. I will take it. That is a big slime. Not super interested in the big slime. Little slimes are fine. They give us slime balls. Big slimes just give us medium slimes. Um, did I go through there? Did I even try? I don't know if I did or not. I think I wanted to go this way. Is this a lighting glitch? Maybe? Do, 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 do. 
Splunking in the caves, looking for ores. Seeing what we can find. It is very dark over here. I see a skellington. He's gonna shoot some arrows at me. He's also gonna die. My sword is sharpness three. And no, the video is not desynced. The audio was just late. This is a experimental snapshot, keep in mind. And uh, this whole world could go kaput at any moment, which sometimes can happen with uh, snapshots. So I'm trying not to fall in love with this world too much, even as I'm spending a lot of time grinding and making it better. Just a tricky balance to try and strike. I knew I saw something over here I didn't want to leave behind. So iron's going to be very important for our armor endeavors. Oops, seeing as how we're not going to want to do um, too much with diamond unless we get ancient armor. Okay, there we go. Grab that dirt back in case we need it. Uh, did I leave anything on the ground? No. Uh, there was some more iron in the sky though, wasn't there? Yes, over here. You guys see that? Is it right above us? It's, now it's right above us. There it is. Okay, one, two, three, four, and a five. I need to get taller for five. There it is. All right, now 29 iron, which who knows how much that will fortune into. Uh, I don't. Now, let's see, we came from this way, I think. And down here, ooh, yeah, there's our hay that we can go land on. And look, it goes even way further down over there, uh, which we could more easily access with a water bucket. But I wanted to see about um, this way, I think. Down, though? Looks like I fell and used that dirt to get back up. There's some tasty, tasty iron. Do, 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 do. There's some more. And more. <gasps> and more. Don't get too greedy. Creeper's going to sneak up on you. Well, I want that last bit, but I don't want to fortune out the stone around it, so I'll just place a dirt block to push those entities up. What is this? Redstone. Nice thing about redstone is you can just hit it and it will glow, and then you know it's redstone. You don't have to mine it up to see if you're in the dark. Speaking of in the dark, that's better. And we got some coal going on. We also have a zombie approacheth. Ooh! Oh, I don't have looting on this sword, otherwise I would go for that enderman. We're gonna need ender pearls eventually. Whoa, that guy surprised me. Ow. Hey. Too clever. Here comes a creep. We can take this creeper out. Nice. Love me some sharpness. Okay. What were we doing now? Did we pass something up? I think we saw something somewhere. This way. Yeah, coal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's be careful with this guy. Gotcha! Whoops. Ooh, don't place a torch. That's gravel. It could fall. Uh, I gotta eat. I gotta replace my torch supply. Uh, eight. Good. Thirty-two. I need some more sticks. One, two, three, four. Get rid of that. Put this here. Boom, 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 boom. Spread. Good. Okay. Now, let's not tempt the fates down there just yet, but go get this coal. 
which I've wanted since I first laid eyes on it. Whoop, whoop. That's why you gotta be careful. I do hear a zombie. Ooh, I see iron. Okay, don't forget there's iron to our right. I think that zombie is blissfully unawares. Fallen on torches is very bad for gravel. And very good for us. I mean, it's good for us when gravel falls on it. Let's make sure that keeps happening while we're gathering these things. Man, that zombie sounds mad, but he cannot find me. Does he know I'm here? Can he hear me? Do you want to build a snowman? I apologize, that was a cheap shot. It was a low blow. Oh yeah, the siren. I forgot, and you guys didn't remind me. That's on you. Or if you did remind me and I wasn't reading the comments, then that's on me. Hiya! <laughs> Just rotten flesh, no thanks. Okay, that Enderman moving around a whole lot, and this helmet. You could put that helmet on. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can hear my wife telling jokes in a work meeting, but my wife is telling jokes in a work meeting. Something about setting a car on fire and the finish line gets further away. Hey, a kid! A baby! Ah! No! Go, oh, good grief! Now I gotta go get all that stuff. I always forget where everything is, too. Okay. Gotta do it fast. Oh, only have five minutes until that stuff despawns. Hey, I've always been double tapping my um, left control stick to run on the Nintendo Switch controller. And it turns out you could just click it down. L3 technically is the button's name. And that will get the job done. How great is that? Um, did any of my stuff blow up? I don't care about the experience, but I definitely want my things back. And I want to be able to organize. And I'm not wearing any of my armor. I'm holding it, which makes things difficult. That guy's got my helmet. Okay, we got to retreat here. And then... Get things situated. Holy cow, is this guy fast? Are you going to hold still? He's got... He's got a helmet. It's not mine. <laughs> Thank you for holding still for a while. Oh, and he did drop it. So now I have an iron helmet. Okay. Um. Oh, jeepers. I hate the reorganization process. Okay. Sword first. Then pickaxe. This goes here. Sticks go here. Backup sword goes here. Food goes here. That actually moves pretty quick. I could use that. Um... Pull up here, food there, torches where? One and many. Um, I don't have dirt blocks on me. Shovel, axe, spare shovel, spare helmet. None of this matters where it goes as much. I had more coal than this. Oh, and I had a water bucket, too. Where did I die? It was somewhere over here. I think I see another creeper. Yes, I do. Nice try. Oh, you guys have got my stuff. Alright, lapis. Gold pants. What else? Uh, okay, so we got our dirt blocks back, and we have a water bucket. There's how much iron we have. And yes, our coal supply is looking better. 
I thought we had more than 10 lapis blocks, but maybe not. I'm starting to get full here. Which I guess is not the end of the world. Okay, so all is well that ends well. We got our stuff back. We got a little overwhelmed by mobs there, and that's okay. That happens. I'm glad I picked difficulty hard. It's the first time hard has felt hard in a while for me. And I kind of like it. Uh, okay. It's a very steep little crevice. Oh, this iron is going to be such a such a changer for us, though. Being able to have enough iron to quote-unquote waste on armor and being able to enchant it so that we can uh, delay, procrastinate on diamond armor. Oops, oops, oops. <gasps> Don't wash away. Oh, no. Ow. Did I get it? I wanted that lapis. Stupid water. Give me a break. Okay, we had 10 before. What should we be up to now? 16, that looks pretty healthy. If there's more down at the bottom of that, I'm not interested in chasing it. I don't trust spiders. It used to be that when they weren't attacking me, I would leave them alone. But sometimes they would just wait for me. What hurt me there? Ah, that guy's shooting arrows. Hopefully a zombie will attack him. There we go. What broke? My helmet. My gold helmet, we'll put that on. Ugh. Okay, slowly pressing forward here. This is difficult. Difficile, as the kids in France say. I should probably have a little more volume. I think the mobs are sneaking up on me a little bit because it's a little bit quiet and I keep yakking because I'm a doofus who can't stop talking. Um, we may as well come down here. Oh, look. Stalactites, etc. Can't pass up the opportunity for some of that. Um, maybe we will leave this for the time being. Keep pressing this way? I don't know. Do you see some iron, though? have to take advantage of that. And that was a good investment. Uh, yeah, it's lasting a while. We're getting a lot of iron and we can always enchant more, so I'm instead of switching back and forth between my non-silk touch and my silk touch, maybe I'll just keep it rolling. Although I could do something like this. So I could switch back and forth like that, and that would work well, I think. Um, here's iron. Did I see some coal anywhere? That is a bit of a drop, and I see some movement going on down there. What? Is this guy dying? Yeah. Was he stuck on a stalagmite? And why is that glowing? What is that? Do I check it out or do I risk? Do I not risk? It. Ow! Dude, nice shot. I'm guessing that glow is just some sort of glitch. But I can't figure it out. Let's see if we can't... Ooh. Hello, creepy. Let's see if we can't worm our way closer. This is 
just kind of keeps being there. Ow. Where's it coming from? That way. I need a shield. Or my own bows and arrows. Or I could just lure him. Fool. I have a sharpness three sword. And now you are dead. Shoot that zombie. Do I feel... Yeah, it's just water. Why is it glowing? Okay, now I gotta kill this guy. Oh, my armor is suffering. Ow. It's hurting me now. Where's it coming from? Keep moving. Ah, it's that guy over there. So it was just some water glowing. Good to know, next time we see a mysterious glow, we'll probably just ignore it. Because that excursion was not quite worth it to me. We are down our boots. Uh, and I'm not sure where we came from. Okay, are we picking up the right stuff? We're probably very full. We're almost very full. We don't need a broken bow. I do see some lapis over here. Oh, did we never go up here? Yeah, we fought off that... We're fighting off that baby zombie, and I said, I'm glad we came, though, because lapis is worth it. And then we got knocked into a creeper. And that was the end of us. Don't know what's up here. Let's see if we can find out though. Oh, that's what's up here. A dead end. Okay, now seems like a good time to make a stack of torches. Or so. Um, and then think about what we have and whether or not we need it. Gold pants we probably don't need. Especially worn out gold pants. Uh, let's grab this iron though. This is very much worth it. Oh yeah, water. I hate water. It's fine though. It's fine. Um... Here, 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 here. Good. Contained. I'm feeling violent. Show these zombies what's up. Yeah, now they know what's up. It's us. Um getting kind of full we do have a stack of iron a stack plus one maybe it's time to head back head back and see what we've got that said let's press on just a little further uh, oh yeah we went down here so where were we going there's some more iron Iron, 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 iron. Good. Ooh, more iron. Um. See coal over there that may or may not be worth going to get. This iron, though, definitely. Okay, got it all. Um, is that it? For this way? I think it is. Can I get over here? How did I get over there otherwise? I feel like I didn't have to do that jump. 
Okay, so let's head back ish. Allowing ourselves room for little detours if we want. What is this guy? Maybe he could drop some good armor for us, but maybe not. Guys with iron armor I'm actually a little more interested in. Okay, yeah, so this is our cave. Um, so we still have like the big down part of this left unexplored. Why is this thing so dark? It's better. Yeah, that that was a far enough drop to kill me before there was a hay bale there. I can't imagine how far that is. It's cool to look at, though. There's some iron. Um, I think we're relatively close to running this stuff back to the base, so it's the smart thing to do. Where's our inn? It's uh, this bridge. So we'll see. We'll see how much stuff we end up with. Um, I want to know what this will equate to. 20. Uh, yep. That looks about right. Alright, so I'll meet you guys uh, back up at the base and we will uh, we'll see what our efforts have wrought. Okay, we're putting away the 20 and the 1 that we picked up outside already. I mean, apart from this trip. Then we're gonna pillar up with this iron somewhere that we feel is safe. Maybe right in the middle of our potato farm. I don't see why that would be a bad idea. Uh, and then we'll see uh, how much we get. So let me pillar up here and... Uh, We'll calculate um, 77 times 2.25 and see if that's what we get from Fortune 3. Alrighty, we're at the top of our iron pillar here, and we can see um, the base beneath us. Let's crouch so we don't fall. And we've got the potato farms all around us. Uh, there's that little natural lava that we've been borrowing from. There's the spruce trees, there's the oak trees, and there's the wheat farms, and there's our little house. Oh, look, we got more lava over there. That's good to know. Okay, what else can we see from here? There's a big, big hole over there. And yeah, this big lake turns into a river. So good to know. All right, I'm guessing that we should get... Oh, no, I don't have my fortune pick. Okay, no problem. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pillar up with coal ore after we go get our fortune pick. But how are we going to get down? We're going to attempt to MLG water. Are you ready? Here we go. I failed. <laughs> okay, let's grab our pick, uh, which is in here. And you know, you win some, you lose some. All the stuff should still be there. Except not all of the experience, only a smattering of experience. Plus, we'll have to reorganize our stupid inventory again. But you know what? I messed up. That's a part of it. All right, let me pillar up with the coal, and then we'll, um, let's see, we have to remember that we already had 31 coal on us. So we'll do that math. When I see that <laughs> copper down there, uh, but I'll pillar up, and then uh, we'll go down. We'll see what we get. Alrighty. Um, I'm expecting three stacks plus 40 of iron, and about four stacks of coal, keeping in mind that we already have 31 in our inventory. Uh, so let's see what we end up with. So it seems as though Fortune 3 is nerfed a little bit. I was expecting four stacks of coal, and I barely got over three. And I was expecting... Um, Two and 45 of iron and I got two and 26 so I don't know if the ore rates are different now or if the fortune 3 multiplier is different now or what exactly but uh, let's go get this iron smelting since we have so much coal 
And we'll get some stuff out of our inventories as well. And that should allow us to... Um, what will that allow us to do? Uh, oh, go pick up the rest of the stuff that we've left behind. And... Um, yeah, my brain's just not working very well today. And... And what? Oh, and fortune the rest of the stuff that we have. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go collect a few things. I'm gonna drop a few things off. I'm gonna collect a few things. I'm gonna organize my inventory, and then we'll see how much uh, lapis and extra coal we ended up with. Alrighty, we're good to go. We're gonna um, pick up the stuff we left behind, and then fortune the rest of this. I'm guessing that 43 coal should become about. What would that become? 86 plus 10 or 11? So 96, 97 coal. Which is a stack and 30 or so. Say a stack and a half. The lapis should be quite a lot because lapis multiplier is crazy. Let's do these one at a time. I'm going to do the coal and see if we do end up with a stack and a half like I was predicting. Uh, but I'm guessing it'll be a little less than that watching the numbers here they go up by four sometimes there's a lot of ones and threes and twos but there are fours 61 to 64 was a three although it could have been 61 to 65 and we just didn't see because there's another stack okay so we have over a stack and a half interesting so there the multiplier seemed to be generous so I don't really know, maybe the variance of the RNG of Fortune 3 is different than it used to be. It's wider, um, it's more volatile. I don't know, we're going to get a lot of lapis though. Look at that, already a stack and a half, two stacks. What did we have, 18 ore, 22 ore, something like that. Lapis is crazy, but I'm thankful for it because with uh, our experience machine giving us tons of experience, um, it's really lapis that is more precious than experience these days. Uh, the sun is going down. Look at that sunset. Look at that sunset. No, oh, just contemplating life. Yep. Uh, we're gonna go to bed, and then we're gonna... Uh, you can only sleep at night. Then we're gonna, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna enchant some stuff? I suppose we could. We ought to make full iron and try to enchant it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've been recording enough for one sitting, so there will be a break here. I don't know if this is a whole episode or if this is part of an episode. So I'll see you either next time or right now in the basement.